we are going to download all our TikTok videos today. Many of you know that the TikTok ban in America is supposed to take effect tonight. I'm going to work quickly through this video, but also concisely. So I ask that you please watch the full video first because it can help clear up any confusion. So we're going to use the MyFave TT Chrome extension to download all our videos. All you need is a Chrome internet browser and a place to store all your videos. So an external hard drive or a flash drive, or if you just have space on your computer. Now you may have seen my previous video on how to download all your TikTok videos using the command line FFmpeg and YT-DLP. This one is a Chrome extension, so it has its own GUI and it has toggleable settings. This one may be a little bit easier to follow in case you weren't able to get all your videos with the previous method. This one is a little bit slower, but it's not super slow by any means. Another thing that I should clarify is that the videos need to be publicly posted videos. So this won't work for private videos. This won't work for photo slideshows and it won't work for your drafts. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go and search myfavtt.com. And it'll take to this page. So it kind of explains itself here. You can download all your TikTok videos in MP4 file for safekeeping. You can download all your likes, your favorites, or download videos by username. All you need to do is have a computer with a hard drive, install the MyFavTT Chrome extension here, So and then go to TikTok login. So we're gonna go click on this. I've already downloaded it. So for you, it's gonna say add to Chrome from here, and you're just going to add. Um, but I've already downloaded it because I wanna test it out first and make sure it works and that it's legit. Now that you have that, we're gonna to go to TikTok. Okay, so now we're gonna open up TikTok, and this is the important part. So if you want to download your liked, favorited, or collection videos that other creators made, you can log on with your account that has them. If you want to save the videos that you posted onto your profile, you will need to log in with an account that follows your profile. The easiest solution to this is to make a quick spam account and follow yourself. If you already have a spam account, you can use that one. Or if you have a friend that follows you, you can use their account. So I'm going to download all the videos I posted on my spam account. And so I will log in with my main account that follows my spam account. It may sound convoluted, but if you just watch it, it might be a little bit easier. All right, so I'm going to log into my TikTok account using a QR code. Okay, so we're logged in. Now, when you log into your account, you'll notice that the MyFavTT Chrome extension just pops up on its own. So I can now download all my likes, download all my favorites, or download from people that I follow. If I click these, there's some settings. You can contact developer, privacy and agreements. If you contact developer, honestly, just send them a huge thank you because making this simplified downloading all your TikTok videos. Um, if you go into settings, you can also specify different things. A lot of you may want this one specifically, download highest quality video available. Um, and then over here, you will notice don't download videos longer than six minutes for likes, nine minutes for favorites, or three minutes from followings. So if you're looking to download videos from your profile, this is the one that you're interested in. If you make a lot of 10 minute long videos, you want to increase this number to 10 um, or, or higher, however long your videos were. And if your videos and your likes or favorites were also 10 minute long videos like recipes or stuff like that, you also want to increase that number. Um, so this just helps you filter out what type of videos you're saving. If you want to save them all and you're not sure, the best thing to do would be just put this at a really high amount, maybe like 30 or something. Now, with that being said, after you've configured your settings, you can hit save and then choose which one you want to do. So I want to download from people that I follow. And then when I first click into that, it's going to ask me to choose a folder where I want to store all those videos. So I'm going to choose a folder and it's going to wait for it to pop up right here. So this is my two terabyte external hard drive and I've made a folder in it called TikToks. Within that folder, I've made my fave TT and I've made the Abe Hysob folder. This is where I'm going to select this folder and store all the videos there. So I'm going to go ahead and select Abe Hysob. This is going to be for the uh, folder to download all my profile videos. So after I select that folder, it's going to say let site edit files and you're going to click, yes, you can let it edit files. So now what it's going to do is it's going to open your following list and it's going to try to scroll down the entire list and select all the people that it can find. So this is going to vary depending on how many people you follow. So my estimated total here is about 4,577 people that I'm following. So obviously this is going to take a little bit longer to parse through this entire list, but as you can see here, it only needs to be done once. So we're going to let this finish and then we'll come back to it when it's ready. 
Okay, so once it finishes, it'll look like this on the left-hand side. This is your following list, and it's going to check the first 10 people, uh, the, I guess the 10 most recent people that you're following on your account, and these are the people whose videos from their profile you're going to download. Um, so this is the account that's my account um, that I want to download from. Um, and so I don't want to download all these videos on top of that. So you can start to uncheck these, but you'll notice as you uncheck these, it just auto checks the next person in line. So what you want to do instead is go to reverse select here, hit yes. It'll put everybody in this non-interested category. And then from there, you just want to find the account that's your account that you want to download your posted videos from. Send this back to the top. This is the to be downloaded. This is one of one. So this is my spam account um, and I want to download from this one. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And now it's going to start the auto download process. So it's trying to open the page. It's trying to scroll down. And then uh, previously downloaded videos will be skipped. It creates an archive file. So it's actually kind of interesting. And I'll show that to you in a second. But here you have your theoretical total. So on this page, there are theoretically 184 posted videos. Um, I believe this counts for only public posted videos. Um, and it's scrolling down. It's on number 33, but it's downloading the fourth video of these 184. Um, and this is how many it's downloaded so far in that folder that we've selected earlier. If I go to options here, you can also set more settings here. So if one user has too many videos, stop scrolling at 1,000. So make sure if you have like 2,000, 4,000, 5,000 videos and you want them all, increase this number. And these are some auto scroll options that you can mess with. This is just the default one and I just kind of let the default one stay. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. And now I'm going to show you the folder that they're actually downloading in so you can see them downloading real time. Okay, so I've changed it to full screen so you can see both sides. On the left hand side, I have the TikTok page open with the MyFaveTT extension uh, running. And you wanna keep this page open. Um, if you minimize it or let it run in background, it'll slow down. So I just kept this page open. It's okay if the computer falls asleep, don't let the computer turn off or hibernate, um, but you wanna let this run and finish. And then on the right hand side, you can see the location where the videos are all being stored. So this is on my two terabyte external hard drive in TikToks, my fave TikToks, Ib Hisab. Uh, you click into data, following, and then a random number. So basically this is the Ib Hisab file. This is basically everything that you'll see generated when you're uh, downloading through my fave TikToks. There's an instruction uh, text pad, um, but it's nothing crazy important. It just kind of tells you double click archive if you want to go through some of your archive stuff. But you can just click on data, go to following, go to this number. This is your user ID number and then go to videos. And then these are all the videos that are being downloaded. That's how you can find it. But I'll go ahead and click on one of these videos just so for peace of mind. Okay, so you know that the videos are working. Um, so that's pretty much it. Now you just wanna let this finish. And uh, once it's done, you'll have all your videos stored. And that's pretty much it. It's a little bit more straightforward because of this GUI. Um, and as you saw, they're in like a higher quality. Okay, so I just wanna show you it completely finished. So it says done, download complete for everybody you selected. See results in the archive.html in your target folder. It says feel free to run this every day to collect their new videos. Um, but obviously if TikTok gets banned, then there's you know only one shot you got today. Um, and this is the rest of the remaining videos. So as you can see on the bottom, it says 176 total items were downloaded. Um, so these are all the videos. So now that it finished, you could, for example, go now and download all my likes. So it's going to open a list of likes. It's going to try scrolling from the top to the bottom or bottom to the top. And then it'll tell you your historical total. This is obviously going to be way more videos than, you know, 176. So this is going to take way more time. So just keep that in mind when you're downloading all your videos. So just a quick informational on how to navigate this folder. So if you go into the ApeHiSaw folder that we made, to save our, our profile videos, you can go into data and in data you can go into following and this is the user ID of my account that I saved all my videos from. If I go into videos, these are all my posted videos from this account. And then if I go back up, I go into covers, these are all the thumbnails for all those videos. So that's pretty neat, pretty useful if you're repurposing your content. If you go into avatars, for whatever reason, it seems to save all the avatars of everyone on your following list. Um, so I'd probably just like end up deleting that because that's, you know, I don't find any use in that. Now, when you go and save your liked videos, 
it's going to automatically create, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to automatically create a likes folder. And within this, it's going to follow that same format of saving the cover first and then saving the videos as well. Now, as you probably saw, this is going to take way longer because this has a historical cap, what looks like 54,000 videos. So that's going to take a while to download. And uh, I hope this helps you guys out. Try to download it, share it with your friends, and just pay it forward. Um, this way you can archive all your, your videos, your, all your memories, and then you can repurpose your content if you'd like. Or, you know, if you're just nostalgic, you can take a look at them again. Uh, help each other out in the comments, and I will see you guys in a later video. Thanks for watching.